Okay, what better thing to do when you take a day off work than sand a deck? This deck is easily 30 years old. We've lived here for over 10 years, and the 10 years that we've lived here, I've never sanded it. I've pressure washed it, scrubbed it, and I've applied over three years, um, three coats of colored deck stain typically i would not have used um, a colored stain like this because it's almost like a paint uh but when we bought the house it was you know already being used so instead of sanding it all down i just stuck with it and i actually like how it looks this is after a power washing you can see pieces come up so i'm going to sand the deck down and the purpose of this video isn't to show end result of the deck it's really to show how to use the machine you can rent this from Home Depot. Uh, it is 49 bucks uh, for four hours or 69 bucks for the day. And when you get it, it's gonna look just like this. An HTF sander. And a few things I wanna point out. To make it easy to transport, it's, t it's heavy, but it's even heavier with this weight on. The weight comes off it's filled with sand so you can take that weight off and it just sits on the front like that to add more weight for down pressure when you're sanding to kick the handles back you just push that and you kind of gonna let it let it roll um, as you go this is to secure the bag I'm doing this outside. I'm going to wear a mask and I know what's on this deck and I know the wood so it's fairly safe. I'm just going to let it blow out and then I'll blow it. So you basically push this back and then hit press and hold this button. So you press and hold it as you sand and you want to put the weight on. Now let's flip this over and show the bottom. So. You're going to put a pad on this that sticks in this like velcro kind of and then on the pad you're going to put your grit sanding paper so this is the pad that you have to buy this is what it's probably going to look like at the end of the project that was on it and you're going to want to put your sandpaper i'm using up oh, that's the wrong paper actually i want to use a higher grit for this round so let me grab that so what I'm going to be using is a 60 grit sandpaper. I read, I read that you don't want to go lower than 40. You want to be between 40 and 80. I'm going to give 60 a shot. I am not looking for pure perfection on this deck. I have no expectations for this deck to look brand new when I'm done. A lot of the boards are uneven. They've been like that since I've been here. What I'm hoping to do is simply protect the wood to get a little more time out of this deck. Because eventually... We're going to remove the whole deck and hardscape everything. I much prefer hardscaping versus wood. So that's a future project. Hopefully, at some point, we will, uh, we will do that. So with the 60 grit sandpaper, the backing is just going to peel right off. And you're going to stick it to the pad. So basically, you pull the back off. And you're going to stick it right to the back, like so. And then that's going to go on the bottom of the machine. And that's, the, uh, that's how it's going to actually do its magic. So then I'll come over to the machine. And I'm going to basically hook it on the bottom and kind of do that and now it's secured and the weight is going to allow me to sand so then i would put this machine back in the upright position and i put the weight back on it it adds a lot of weight to it and then i'm going to want to sand in a specific motion I'm going to go up 
and back and I'm doing half the deck at a time. I don't know how much sandpaper I'm going to use. I picked up six and I also picked up a 120 grit so I can kind of finish it a little bit. My whole goal is just to get some of the rough spots. Areas like this, I'm replacing the board. I just haven't done it yet. I was going to wait till I sand because I didn't want to have an open slot when I was sanding just in case I stepped in it and I didn't want my sun to come out. Um, once it's sanded, and I have power washed this, I think I mentioned. Everything's been power washed, cleaned. Once it's sanded, I'm going to let it sit for a couple days. Um, it's been a week since I power washed. I'll blow it off, let it sit a couple days, and then I'll apply paint. And, uh, well, I guess I'll replace the boards, and then I'll apply paint. So then all I'm going to do is push this back, hit the button, and let it rip. So let me give that a shot and see how it goes. So, I just did a small section to demonstrate. And it's definitely bringing up a lot of the paint that was loose. So I think this is going to be really good because now it doesn't feel like any of that paint is kind of loose. But areas like that, I'll probably replace this board. So I'm going to go over this whole deck with that paper and try to get that texture on everything and that gives you an idea of how that sandpaper is looking so i'm gonna get to work and try to get this thing all sanded down and at least in better shape for paint thanks for tuning in this was simply to show how to use the sander the deck sander from home depot it's easy it's not difficult wear a mask you don't want that coming in I would recommend if you don't know what your deck is made of or what paint was on it, buy the bag, bag the dust. I'm just going to blow this off into my yard after I cut grass, um, and then I'll have everything ready for paint. Check out my blog, www.jams.net, J-A-N-Z.net, for more adventures and DIY. Thank you.